Welcome back. All right, so uh, the second to last preseason roundup, taking a look at stats and all that fun stuff. There's no hockey games tomorrow or Monday, so maybe I'll throw together a live stream. We shall see. Uh, but yeah, five games last night. Uh, Pittsburgh at home against Buffalo, and of course, I already did the review for the Nashville-San Jose game because that's a regular season game, and I, I didn't watch these last night. I tried to watch Toronto-Detroit and just realized this is preseason. I just watched a regular season game. I couldn't do it. So Buffalo loses to Pittsburgh 7-1. to one. So this is the kind of result that Buffalo needs to avoid during the season, right? If they're really going to get into the hunt, uh, they can't be having nice like this often. Because oddly, goal differential usually factors into which teams are viewed as being really good and which ones are viewed as being really bad. And very often will carry over to who does or doesn't make the playoffs. So Hinnestroza had the goal for Buffalo. Comrie had a rough night. 20 saves on 27 shots. And he had a rough night because the big guns in Pittsburgh didn't. Uh, Gensel with a goal and two assists. Crosby, two goals and an assist. Malkin with three assists. And Tristan Jari saved 22 out of 23. So, yeah. Uh, Pittsburgh firing on all cylinders in this one. And all set to go for the start of the season. Uh, Toronto and Detroit. Toronto had a lead. And then Detroit came back and won it 4-2. to two. Uh, Sandine with one of the two goals for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Abrazizi with the other. Uh, Samsonov, 23 saves on 26 shots. The other end, Bertuzzi with two goals, and Nedeljkovic, 21 saves on 23 shots. So Detroit finishes out the preseason with a win, and, or no, they don't finish it out. They, they rematch today. I've actually got it on a board right there. All I have to do is turn my head that way, and it's right there. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, Detroit will be in Toronto tonight, and I'll be reviewing four games tonight, and we'll see how those go. Uh, Seattle in against the Edmonton Oilers. Seattle loses 5-3. to three. I don't think there's any reason to panic because it's preseason. Uh, so, Beneers had a goal for Seattle. Uh, Grubauer saves 35 out of 39. So, he had a decent night. Again, Grubauer needs to have that turnaround season for St. Louis to get better. St. Louis. Seattle to get better. Um, Oilers, like I've said, I'm in the preseason too. So, things happen. Dreisaitl, a goal and three assists. And then next week when I'm making those same errors, I'll just say, eh, it's early in the season. I'll figure it out. Um, I got to play a full 60 minutes. I got to get pucks in deep. Um, you know, really, it's a team effort here. Anyways, uh, just getting ready for the inane chatter as well. Dreisaitl with a goal and three assists last night. McDavid with a goal and an assist. And Campbell, 30 saves on 33 shots. So Campbell gets the win. Dreisaitl with four points. McDavid with a couple himself. Really, the Oilers and the Penguins both look like they're in midseason form, according to these games from last night. Winnipeg beat Calgary 5-3. to three. Uh, for Winnipeg, Dubois with two goals. It'd be very interesting to see how his season goes because of the one-year extension and because of all the speculation about whether or not he wants to be in Winnipeg. Uh, Connor with a goal and two assists. Hellebuck, 35 saves on 38 shots. He was the busier of the two goaltenders, actually. Toffoli had a goal and an assist for two points in the game. Markstrom saved 11 out of 16. Can't be doing that. That's an ugly stat line. He'll be glad that uh, the preseason uh, doesn't count and those numbers get wiped out. Uh, Markstrom will be good to go for the start of the season, I would think. Vancouver beats Arizona 4-0. From the looks of the numbers, I'm, A, I'm really glad we didn't go to this game last night. Uh, it's odd. You wouldn't think so. You'd think, well, wouldn't that be a great game to go to as a Canucks fan? It's preseason. And when when the other team isn't even really a threat, it, it, it gets kind of boring. So McBain had a minus three. That was the top amongst the Arizona players. Uh, Vimelka saves 28 out of 32. He was easily the busier of the two goaltenders. Uh, Kuzmenko had a goal and an assist. Demko saved all seven shots he faced. Yeah, it's one of those rare occasions where the goaltender doesn't get into the three stars with a shutout, and it tracks. That's about right. There was one shot in the first period for Arizona, four shots in the second, and then two shots in the third. So clearly they, they tuckered themselves out in the second period. Long change will do that. But uh, yeah, so Arizona finishes out their preseason with a, with a stinker, but n not really a big deal. And for Vancouver, they at least get two wins at the end of the preseason so that they finish 2-3-2. Two, and two. Not a great record, but still better than 0-5-2, right? Or 0-4-3. So there you go. You guys are all caught up with what happened last night. These numbers, of course, all get wiped out as of uh, tomorrow morning. And then we start talking about the regular season and all that fun stuff. But let me know your thoughts. Has the preseason affected how you view any of the teams in the NHL? Has it caused you to be more optimistic or pessimistic about one team or another? Let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And spoiler alert, it's just preseason is a fair answer. Thanks again for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.